Hey everyone, Steve with Flowchecker here. I recently bought a new laptop and downloaded the Thinkorswim desktop software. And besides setting up my trading space here, I had to remember to adjust certain settings to make sure it was operating at the most optimal speed. Now, the first settings that everyone can do has to do with the quote speed and the order speed. So go up to the top right hand corner here and hit setup. And go to application settings. We're gonna go ahead and hit system. Okay, so here under quote speed, I think when you first download Thinkorswim, it's going to be maybe at the moderate speed for quotes at about three seconds. We don't want that. We, we, we want the real time. We want quote data coming over immediately. So you want to change that to real time data, hit apply settings. And when you'll do that, you'll notice that your quotes here in the time and sales window and in the trading ladder are much faster. Um, let's go back up to setup, go back to application settings again. And then this time we want to go over to Active Trader, and we want to change this order submission rate limit. I think it comes with a 500 millisecond delay, but we want to set that to zero. That way, when you hit the buy button, your order is being sent immediately. Okay, hit apply settings there. Now, the next thing that we can do, and I think this is what causes the most confusion based on what I've researched is the RAM or the memory settings for Thinkorswim. And this is actually done at the startup screen when you first log on. So let me go ahead and log off of Thinkorswim. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it back up again. And when we do that, you're going to see a gear, eye, a gear icon in the bottom left. Okay. When you scroll down here, you're going to see memory usage two windows in megabytes. Now this is going to be the, the maximum, I mean the minimum and the maximum settings for RAM. And when you click on a window, you're going to see a number of values here. Now, when I've done this research on the web, there are different posts and websites suggest, you know, Hey, if, if you've got a four gigabyte machine, you should set it to, to, to a minimum of 256 or 128. You know, people have these ideas that have to be these hard and uh, fast rules of what the RAM should be, but how do you really know which number you should use? Let's let's take a look at what um, TD Ameritrade suggests, at least for running Thinkorswim. So these are the requirements for Thinkorswim. You'll see for for an average user on both PC and Mac, Mac they're saying you have to have a computer with minimum of four gigabytes of RAM. For a power user, sixteen gigabytes of RAM. Now. A power user is defined as someone who uses a lot of charts. They're running a lot of charts at the same time, or they've got a lot of custom scripts that you're using for technical analysis. Um, I think I find myself more towards an average user, maybe a little bit more average, but I, I don't consider myself a power user. But um, so four gigabytes should be enough to actually run, think, or swim. Um, fortunately, you know, nowadays most laptops will come with, or computers come with, I think eight gigabytes of RAM. In fact, I got this machine for just under about a thousand dollars and it came with 16 gig gigabytes. So the more modern computer should have no problem running think or swim. Now, because I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, I actually set my minimum here to 4,096 megabytes. Um, that's about four gigabytes. It's about a thousand megabytes per gigabyte, actually a thousand twenty four. But, um, you know, just, just for these purposes, it's about four gigabytes minimum. And then I've got it set to about a little over uh, 12 gigabytes maximum. I think the highest you can set it to is 12.8 uh, gigabytes, but we'll go ahead and just leave it at the 12.2 here. Um, press save and go ahead and enter my login information. And we'll log in now to understand how much where you should set those RAM numbers, you should probably understand a little bit about what RAM is and how it works. So RAM stands for random access memory, but you can think of it as your computer's short-term memory. It's the super fast high-speed storage that your computer uses to run applications and store data. So when you start up your computer and you're running Windows and maybe you bring up YouTube on a Chrome browser, you bring up your email application and, and, and think or swim, they are all using RAM. So this is different than hard drive memory or long-term storage. Like when you, you save a, a Word document to your computer, you know, you saved your Word document, you close it out, uh, but it's actually saved to your hard drive. Now, 
The difference is RAM is considered temporary. So when you close one of your applications, like you close your email or you think or swim or you think or swim, you, you've actually cleared out your RAM. So now space is available for other programs to use. Now, if you're able to use up all of your RAM, and I'll show how you can tell that uh, your computer actually switched to using your, your actual hard drive memory and you would notice a significant slowdown in, in how your programs run. So the amount of RAM that you're going to allocate on that startup screen that we just looked at is going to depend on how you use your computer and what type of programs you run while you're trading. So maybe you're listening to music or watching YouTube. That's why these, you know, these fixed suggestions don't really apply, the fixed suggestions you see online. So how do you figure out which values you should use? Well, um, if you've got sufficient RAM, like I've got 16 gigabyte RAM, well, it makes sense to, to use a good amount of it. So that's why I set mine to the higher levels on, on the login screen. Now on Windows, you can easily check the amount of RAM you're using by just going down to this bottom startup ribbon here, right clicking and hitting task manager. I think on an iMac, you can go to activity monitor. Now when you do that, you see the processes that are running on the computer and the amount of RAM that's being used. Like right now, I've got I've got my Firefox browser open, Google Chrome, um, my my Microsoft browser here, showing you know I've got my Flow Checker website on, where you can go ahead and type in your stock and check the float across several financial websites all in one easy search. So I've got a couple applications running, and you can see Thinkorswim hasn't hasn't been open for a very long time, but it's using almost is showing about 1800 megabytes so that's close to two gigabytes of memory the total memory being used right now i've got is just under 50 percent so you know i feel comfortable that my computer is running quickly and things aren't going to slow down now i will tell you i've actually set my thinkorswim to the highest numbers now when when my thinkorswim has been running for a while this number under the current settings here they'll get to about three gigabytes of usage and then my total memory usage is maybe in the low 50 percentage. Now, I've set it up to the highest amount that I can use on Thinkorswim at the login screen. And this number has gone up to about five and a half gigabytes. And my total m memory usage is maybe around 60 percent. So I, I feel pretty comfortable that this computer, computer can pretty much handle the highest settings. But I chose not to do that because I didn't really notice any difference in my trading that the, the program is acting any faster or not so 60 you know I, i'm comfortable with this and that's where i'm i'm leaving it at now one, one other area i wanted to show you was uh if you go over to help here and you go over to system here on the system here and it's going to show you see that the, the the total memory here is pretty close to the minimum of where we set it at that login screen and you can see the, the used amount of memory here. Now, if you've got Thinkorswim open all day long, you can actually free up some of the memory that because Thinkorswim is constantly downloading information from the servers. Uh, if you hit this collect garbage, you're going to see this number go down. Watch this. So, yeah, now it's back down, back down quite a bit. I freed up some memory for the program to use. So I've seen that uh, people have mentioned clearing this garbage out if, if you're noticing any slowdown. I, I haven't seen that it helped me all that much, but you can give that a shot. So I hope that helps make some takes out some of the mystery surrounding the RAM settings for Thinkorswim. So, you know, periodically while you're running Thinkorswim, go, go check the task manager and just check out where the numbers are. And then you'll get a sense of for what you feel comfortable with and where you want to set, set your um, RAM settings at the login screen. Okay. I hope that helps. Take care. See you next time.